Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. You can see this just here. All 20 Premier League clubs are up there. Why is that? Because we're going to be debating the most disrespected player at Ooh. each club. You've both put together uh, your own picks. We're going to debate them out. We'll yeah. start with uh, the first one, and then they'll go on the board. Mm. Joe, mm. Arsenal. Was Arsenal, who are you both putting forward as your most disrespected player at Arsenal? Um, I think it's two different ones. I've got Jorginho. I've got Martinelli. OK, a yeah. debate already. Why well, Jorginho? Jorginho is a squad player at Arsenal, of course. He's only cost, a, 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 I think, around about 10 million from Chelsea. And but he's, he's so intelligent and he, he's so good for certain moments in games to close them out. And he's had big moments for, for Arsenal in big games where you look at him and you think, wow, like that experience, that tempo control, that that guidance has really helped that team get through that game. And it, it, it's, only, it's only when he plays, it seems, where, he's, where people are really appreciative. They, don't, they, they, they look at a lot of his physical flaws. Obviously, he's not the quickest. He's physically sometimes can be, can, can be bullied. But his intelligence, for what he has, he always, for me, maximises. So I think, he's, I think he's a wonderful player. How, how is Gabriel Martinelli disrespecting you? I think he's disrespecting in a way where, like, if you hear... A lot of people always say this guy dribbles looking down on the floor, doesn't look up, etc. And for me, I, f I find that that's very disrespectful. If that's the only negative thing you can say about this guy, for me, that's very disrespectful. Like, I feel like Arsenal's got a massive player on their hand where this guy in the future, he can win new leagues. He can compete for the Champions Leagues and stuff like that. I think this guy is very vital, just as much as Saka is for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. I think Martinelli... Do you think Martinelli's is disrespected? Um, I think he's been given a lot of credit for last season. I certainly did because he was he was one of the players at the Arsenal team when they started to fall off from the title and they were starting to drop points and, and there was a lot of pressure. He was one of the players that continued to perform. Um, but I think Jorginho, for me, gets... Even if you just talk about his whole career, I think what he's done in general outside of Arsenal, Champions League, I think he gets a lot more disrespect. People talk about Kante a lot and don't get me wrong, Kante is an incredible player, but his partner was also just as important in... in was in he disrespected at Chelsea? That's what I was going to ask. Was he... Do you uh, think that Chelsea fans... Are, uh, did you disrespect him? I didn't. <laughs> yeah. that's where, I'm so that's happy... That's why he picked him. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> happy. It's like his ex. He's feeling guilty. He's not over him. No, no, no. He's there, not over him. There, don't go anywhere. There's no guilt. <laughs> there, there's no guilt around here. I've always... He was our captain at, at times. Like, he, he's one of those players that he's... Um, he's like Marmite. Some people like him, some people don't. But you have to respect him. He was a leader. His character's fantastic. Plays the guitar brilliantly well. So... <laughs> He's. I, I really like him. I think when you look at the culture that Arsenal have created and, and behind the scenes, um, Frim, Frimpong is, is, what, is a great presenter. They, you see the culture and you see the, the kind of togetherness and he's, he, he would have helped with that. He would have definitely brought some of that as well. So he's a great player. It's a tough decision, this. Is. I think the Brazilian guys in the team as well. I think the guitar line sold me. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> this is what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to find some more information about... You've got to know their hobbies. Of the outside, yeah. <laughs> their interests. Right. right, moving on then. Aston Villa, next up. Matisse, who have you got? Leon Bailey. Ooh. Disrespected. Wait a minute. Uh, who, 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 <laughs> okay. Right, See, it. now you said that, I know what you're going to say about mine. Go on. Okay, I got this guy here, Douglas Louise. Let me tell you why, though. Let me speak. Let me speak. <laughs> Let, me speak. Let me talk. Now, disrespected in a point where we're, everyone's screaming Watkins and stuff like that. They're, they're all screaming indeed. But this guy's very vital for this Aston Villa team. But I just feel like he doesn't get. He's, everyone knows he's talented, he's good. But when I mean disrespect, I mean, he needs to be up there with Watkins. Like, you need to say this guy's name. Mm. Do you remember, he, do you see his um for Watkins' goal, second goal? You're trying mm. to convince us or yourself. No, I'm trying <laughs> to convince you guys. Like, I love this guy. Yeah, yeah. I think, I've, I've, Fantasy Football League, I put my stocks in this guy early. Well, everyone's catching now. I've already generated them points from this guy. Like, you know I mean? Everyone's trying to get their stocks now. So I just feel like he doesn't get the respect, which I believe it should be very high up there alongside Watkins and stuff like that. But I just feel like they don't, they don't, they don't give him that, so... That's why I put him there. I'm going to take a different angle. I feel like he is not even rated highly enough within his own club. I've seen, like, Zanalio play a lot over him, and I'm thinking, what's going on? Like, Leon Bailey is a talented player. I've always thought so, even at his days at Leverkusen as well. I, I see that they kind of... It's obviously tactical. They rotate between him and Diaby. I would love to see a front three with all of them together. He's keeping um, Diaby out of the team at the moment. Yeah, he is. Exactly. He's got he 13 yeah. goal involved. But, but I, I, again, maybe like Fu, like, he doesn't really... No-one talks about him. Like, Diaby's obviously mm, the new signing. Diaby's the new signing. He was the signing um, in the previous season. Watkins obviously gets a lot of headlines. But when you see this guy strike a ball, he's, he's clean with it. He cuts in off that right. I've seen him play off the left flank as well. He's versatile. I think he's a very, very underrated player. Like, I, I would love it. Out of these two, I think... 
people talk more about Douglas Louise than they do about Leon Bailey? I would 100% say so. Say so. Everyone, everyone, what are you thinking? I'd go, I'd go Douglas Louise Bailey. was linked with Arsenal. I would as well. Yeah. Who's it? To, you want to Who's go it? Hold Pines. that! It was going to St. Pius. Hold <laughs> that! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hold! All right, you got, I you can't got, believe you got that. Game. You got no, no, I can't believe that. It's, mar it's a marathon, not a sprint. Not, <laughs> Here we go. Game. Next up, I've got this one. Who's, no, 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 no. Chavonet. No, 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 no. Struggling to get a <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Dom Solanke. Bournemouth. You know, see, you need, to under, yeah. you need to understand why I'm picking these guys. <laughs> he should be in, in plane to Euros this, this year. So you're saying England-wise, he's disrespected it, in the England squad? Yeah, of course. Like, we've seen what he's doing in Bournemouth. You see what he's doing, they nearly destroyed him. <laughs> Chelsea nearly destroyed him. Wasn't he at Liverpool too? Yeah, but we, we gave was, him yeah. a bit of confidence. But you guys Did you? Did you play him? him. That's what I'm thinking. You guys nearly destroyed him. Did you play him? So like <laughs> much. We tried to. <laughs> we tried to. <laughs> yeah. But like, is that... But, 15 okay. goals in all comps this season. Gone Chelsea, Liverpool, two massive clubs, but found his feet at Bournemouth. And I feel like... though, because of the calibre of striker we've got in the Premier League right now. You've got your Haaland, you've got your Hoyland, you've got Watkins, what he's doing as well. Do people put Solanke up there in that conversation? No. And they should, do you think? I don't, I don't hear his name as much. I do. I'm hearing Watkins, which is fantastic. I'm happy for it. Like, he is doing his thing. We're hearing Harlan. We're hearing other players. That's not even... We're hearing Hoyland more than Dom Solanke. Let's be honest. We might cuss Hoyland and stuff like that, but we're hearing him more than Dom Solanke. Mm. I just feel like he doesn't get the respect. So you take him on the play? I'll take him on the plane, yeah. You're going for... I, I think if anyone ever speaks on Bournemouth, all they do is speak about Dominic Solanke. And they don't speak about how he got the service. And mm. Travenier is one of the players in that team, a bit of a leader behind Neto, the keeper, who is constantly creating opportunities for that side. And I think, I think with him, he's got the same name as a, a certain player at Rangers. Yeah. And his name is always at the forefront because of those Europa League runs against Dortmund. And Travenier's like, you think of Travenier, you think, yeah, the guy at Rangers. Yeah. No one thinks of this guy. And I, I think, think he deserves his, I think he deserves some credit. I think he leads for them in chances created. He does. Um, and he's, he's a player that... Like I said, he brings some experience to that side. Fu can feel himself yeah. losing no, no, it. No, 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 but this is exactly my point. I'm proving my own point here. <laughs> I have to say, Look, we're going to go with him. This is another... This is, this is, this is, this is my proof of disrespect for Solanke. He's conceded. He's conceded. I'd say Solanke. I, I agree. I think for the, think England, the England point you made was good. Yeah. The England point you made... You have to Not capped enough. Game. Let's get him on. He's on there. Let's get him on. Let's keep the pace up. I just want to say he conceded. Let's keep the pace up. Moving on then. We've got Brentford next. Let's look at next choices. Matisse, I'll come straight to you on this one. Who have you got? I've got Mbwemo. Disrespected. Now, I feel Who's like... disrespected Mbwemo? I feel like all of the... Obviously, Tony's comeback was big and mm. it got a lot of press and it got a lot of media attention. Um, but this guy deserves his flowers for keeping Brentford going whilst he was away. And I think for his age, I think he's, he's, he's still fairly young as well. 24? Still 20, yeah, still only 24. He led that line for them. He really did. He led that line and he showed his versatility to play in a two, to sometimes lead, to be alongside Visser as well. He's a player that... I think he's got a lot of potential. I know he's, I know he's coming towards his peak now, and I think, you know, 26, 27, you're going to start to see um, someone that could maybe take a step up from Brentford. But I think, yeah, he's, he's a very, very good player. He, he's shown he can play out wide, go up front. I just think he's, he's not spoken about enough. Talking about leading lines, I'm going to talk about someone that was leading the back line. Like, when it comes to Brentford, uh, obviously, we scream to um, Tony and Buemo. I mean... We do. We do. <laughs> yeah, we scream. We scream all these guys. We saw as well. But uh, Pinnock, we don't. No one mentioned the name. But what, what, how vital he is for that Brentford team, especially for the last couple of seasons, for me, he needs to get the respect um, as much as these guys. So I think, I think it's I'll just, we'll just put it in. I think it's Pinnock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's get Pinnock yeah. on. <laughs> Thank you, Matisse. Thank you, Pinnock. <laughs> Thank you. you. You're making a comeback, Thank yeah? You. Yeah, I might as well give you this Brentford. Comebacks, 2-2. Two, two. Next Brighton up, one. what we got? Brighton. Now, this is where you won't win. I would win. Because this is another X. Billy Gilmore. Mm, I'm starting to you notice see, a pattern here. You see the pattern? <laughs> you see it? <laughs> this, this player is so intelligent. I don't know if you remember Roy Keane's analysis on him when he first broke through at Chelsea yeah. um, for the Everton debut that he made and a game um, after that also. But the, he's just... He's so good. And, and I, I want to mention him because Brighton have lost some key midfielders. You know, they've lost Caicedo, they've lost McAllister. They're playing more games this season in Europe now as well. The Zerbi system is so challenging. It's so... So um, it's so demanding for a midfielder to, to yeah. pick up the ball in so many spaces and, and have to progress. And he's just so technically secure. And, and again, just like Jorginho, he's got his physical limitations and he doesn't, let that, he doesn't let that override what he does on the football pitch for me. I feel like, 
you know, he's not the short, he's not the tallest, he's not the the, the strongest, but he's 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 so intelligent. Talking man. Of tall and strong. Yeah. He's tall yeah. and strong. Mm. Now, Disrespected though. Do we not all think he's like that? One see, of their key players. Let me, let me, let me. Can I? I, want, I know what he's going to say. Please, please. He is oh. very a key part of Brighton. But when I, you don't really hear Lewis Dunk, you hear like the people like McAllister, Caicedo, now Matoma. This guy's been with them. You know how long? Since League One. Since League One, and now they're in the Premier mm. League. Does he go on the plane in the summer? Are you going to disrespect him? You see. Oh, you know what? <laughs> no, he doesn't. But you know why? Because I disrespect him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's enough. On the board. On the board. He's got on the board. 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 He's got uh, on the board. board. From League One, he's what? got <laughs> He just disrespected yeah, him. Can he play his part of the game? <laughs> this part of this, we're talking about the most disrespected players. I said he's so not you going to play. Him. So this now he it. goes on the board. Right, on but yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. From League One, you know what I mean? We just don't, I don't, you don't really hear his name a lot. But All right, we're going to have to pick up the pace a little bit here. We're going to have to pick up the pace. I'm going to be quick. Burnley. This is shameless. And you've gone for... Bosh. Oh. An agreement. Get okay. There. No problem. There we go. I, I want to put mine there, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's an agreement. <laughs> Chelsea. Oh, for me, I've got Kaiseido. I've got Raheem Sterling. Start with Raheem. Why is that? Um, like this is a person that's won multiple Premier Leagues, multiple with City, and I believe after with Pep, the person that scored the most goals for Pep, Messi, and and Rads as well. I just feel like Stamford Bridge. He gets booed. With, for, by the Chelsea fans. For me, this is a massive disrespect for a guy who is considered a Premier League legend for myself. Like, he's a, he's a Premier League legend. Like, when, when people, grow, wingers, especially the young kids, they look like they want to be like Raheem Sterling and stuff like that. I just feel like he, the, the way he gets... The treated, thing is, he's not considered a Premier League legend. That's why I think he is disrespected. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's what I said to myself. Yeah. This guy's a Premier League legend. You have to give him a Premier League... Why have you gone Caicedo over Sterling? Are you the Chelsea fan? I've gone with Caicedo because I feel like people have taken his price tag and ran with it, but they're not watching him. And they're not watching Chelsea when they speak on him because I spoke about earlier in the show, him kind of being left alone in the midfield with Enzo kind of a lot higher up tactically. And he has to get through so much work on and off the ball. You'll see Caicedo isolated by himself and he's, he's still a young player. I think he's the second full season in the Premier League mm. and so much expectation, don't get me wrong, but he's a very good player. And it's, I've, I've seen so many disingenuous arguments of, oh, we wouldn't take him now, he's overrated. Yes, you would. You We've would take Caicedo. We've got to pick it's one. Gotta You're be giving some great reasons. Listen, start, Sterling... Yeah, I agree, man. I think, I, I not, think not, he's not having his best season, but I think overall... Very disrespectful. You still can't take the way... What he's done in the All past. Right. Do you know what Put I mean? him up. Although Caicedo, I agree, he's like yeah. in the background here getting. Yeah. Crystal Palace. I really? cannot believe one of the names that is yeah. on this uh, right here. They, yeah, it's going to be mine. England. Yeah. Another Chelsea expert. Yeah, yeah. This is this is me being shameless, so shameless. But England. I'm not seeing enough. I'm not okay. seeing enough of, uh, on England international level. I think this player, he's, he, can, he can pass with both feet. He's worn the armband for Palace. He's he's a very very good defender, and he's so technically. So technically strong, I just feel like England, if they want to progress, he should be he should be in the squad and he's not. Who is disrespecting Elise, man? Yeah. Everybody says that he's the be like one of the best young players in the league. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. Get him up there, get him on here. No, no, but we're not, we're not talking about him enough. That's that's what I that's We what talk I about him all the time. Get him up there. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what? Okay, we're full sorry for you. We'll put one up. <laughs> you just said, yeah, he is one of the best players. <laughs> no, he is, but I just feel like you know we don't have time to <laughs> All right, Everton. I, I have to has has to be mine. But let's see if we've got the same. Who have you got? Oh, right. Decore? Jared Brandt? Wait, why yeah. is that? Because he is a left-sided centre-back. And I feel like... Engl that's what England... England's missing that. We need that. I feel like he's a young, young, young star, plays for Everton, and, like, Everton are struggling at the moment. He's one of the main reasons why they're, they're, they're at where they are right now. They got deducted 10 points. Might be more in the, in, in the next coming uh, months. But, yeah, I feel like this guy is heavily disrespected, like... Why Decore? Decore, no one speaks about his ability to pop up with goals and big goals as well. Um, mm. And in a team that don't really have a striker, I think Calvin, Calvin, um, Calvin Lewin has kind of struggled for injuries and they don't really have much firepower. Um, McNeil's delivery is good, but I feel like they're heavily reliant on this guy to, to break from the midfield and, and, and put the ball in the back of the net at times. And a lot of people speak about Onana because obviously a lot younger and you know he's been wanted by Arsenal and whatnot, but he, this, this player is very important for Everton. I, I think, think he's Everton's top scorer this season. Yeah, he, he really needs, yeah. Yeah. He really needs his credit. Well. Yeah. I think it's a good shout. I think it is. Everyone thinks about it's Dominic Calvert Loom when they think about Everton. Do you speak on him? Really? Yeah, you just Brantford, 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 everybody loves He's so good. Yeah, everybody loves I know, him. but yeah, everybody loves him. Fulham, let's move on. Next up, who have we got? Matisse, coming straight to you. This is a W for me because it's William. Another Chelsea expert. This is not <laughs> what are we seeing here, man? Who's disrespecting <laughs> what he's done and what he's achieved? Mm. 
I feel like his time at Chelsea and Arsenal, and I'm, this is even me criti criticising myself, we looked at him as a player on the right wing when we had Hazard and we said, this guy is not, he's not really good enough. He's not yeah. providing yeah. enough consistency. But when you've seen him at Fulham on the left wing, he's, he's completely... He's completely, like, running the show. Like, in games, he's literally setting the pace, setting the tempo. He's so good. He's, it, like, there's so many big performances in that Fulham team that he's put up, especially when Jimenez wasn't playing so well. I think he's, I think he's, he's disrespected. Why, Wobi? Very quickly. Wobi, like, from Arsenal... You, you, usually, when you go Arsenal, you go Everton, you, people think that a player can't revive their career and hit top level. I think him moving to Fulham, like, we've seen what he's doing for Nigeria in, in AFCON, it has to be him. I feel like we're, not, we're all disrespected. Like, he's disrespected. Definitely, 100%. He didn't even finish. 100 No, no, but what's understood <laughs> doesn't need to be explained. <laughs> oh, OK. Uh, I'd go with Obi. I think he is disrespected. Yeah. I think that he is. people don't actually see what he can do. I, think I don't think we've seen about. his abilities yet as well. I think he can go further. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and let's get him out. Yeah. Right. Let's get him out. OK, then. Let's go to Liverpool. Go. I'm going to beat the Liverpool guy. Uh, uh, I think no. you are. Honestly, I've seen these suggestions. I think yep. you are. Joe Gomez. Wow. Right. Joe Gomez, the disrespect, where does it actually come from? Because he was one of the most exciting young players to come through, gets a few injuries. Where's the disrespect then come from? Who is it? What, what fans? Liverpool, Liverpool fans. fans. Liverpool is it? fans. They wanted him sold. I'm a Liverpool fan. They wanted him sold. Liverpool speak? fans love this guy. We love this guy. We don't they, disrespect they were, him. They, they were looking, they were looking to have him sold. Darwin. Okay. That's who's disrespected. Okay. Why? Like, because obviously, he, lack of goals. We understand that. But outside of that, the link up played the assist. Nobody talks about, want to talk about that. They want to talk. This guy was nominated for a Ballon d'Or. Huh? Top 30. Not now, not now. Not <laughs> but top 30 when, when Neil Top bought 30. It. Yeah. It's still a massive Does achievement. Does count as nominated? No, it doesn't. No. How many for Lots of players Ballon are nominated for a Ballon d'Or. I just you know, feel they're, like they're this, guy, this guy, because of his lack of goals, everyone's disrespecting him, saying, oh, he's not a good player, he's hard, da, 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 da. But really and truly, he's... The, Is when that it comes not to just because time, he was... Compared to Haaland, though? No. Is that not just because I don't think, I don't, No, no, I don't think he's disrespected. He's really good, Haaland. isn't it? He's, he's fantastic. So he's such an amazing footballer. But everyone wants to disrespect him. Clowns on him and clown on him, yeah. So, he, for me, it has to be him. N we, don't, we love this guy. Nunes we get, love him. Nunes gets goals, but Nunes also misses massive chances. And I feel like when, when that happens, like we're talking open goals sometimes, you're going to get criticism for that. I think that's right. But with Joe Gomez, like, he's come into this team, he's played both fullback positions, there's been injuries, he's come back from massive injuries oh, yeah. as well, Great, and, and he's been consistent. And we're not he's been so consistent. Him. We're, we're, we're giving him... The, the judge is about to rule it, yeah. and he's, he's ruling Is he going to be on the... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> is he going to go to the Is he going to go to the Euros? Uh, Gomez. We don't know. Gomez up oh, there, definitely. Can I keep this, though? <laughs> yeah, we're allowed to keep you it. You can You're taking that home. Right, moving on then, Luton Town. OK, me and you got the same. the same, 100%. I know he is. If he... It's Ross Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has Put it up there straight yeah. away. Yeah. Quick question. Go on, go on, go on. Thank you. Does he go on the plane as, as a wild card uh, option? I mean, in, in another world, in another world, today's midfield is meant to be him and Wilshire. I, I, I in another world, it should be him and Wilshire right do, now. Do you know what? For me, I wouldn't rule it out because I think he's played a deeper role for Luton, a, a role that Phillips has had to play, a role that Henderson... I think he's got to be ahead of both of them and clear. He's been one of the best midfielders of the, of the season. All right, OK. Let's keep going. Manchester, Manchester City. Oh, let's see, that's a city fan. Who's that's... disrespecting one of the best players Who's in the league? Who's disrespecting him? Who? Oh, Who? yeah. Oh, you, you're okay. You haven't seen. Well, everyone talks about his achievements. Everyone knows what he can do. He's a superstar. He's a yeah, wonder kid. One of the best players in the league this season. Genuinely, how can you be a superstar bitter... now and still be a wonder kid? Yes. Only full forward. And that's it. You can't. He's not you are disrespecting him by saying that. Why? No, I'm saying he's amazing. That's such a. Oh, He's a superstar and still a wonder kid. Like, oh, right, so yeah, how yeah, can he be disrespected? Yeah, so how okay. can you be disrespected? Yeah, I agree, man. He's been I, I feel, in the league. He has this season, but I feel like before this season, his because of the lack of minutes, and I've said the, the lack of minutes or the rotation that Pep has him under and the change of position, people have questioned, is he really as good as we think he is? Like, is he technically like that guy? Is he really of course he is. He's that always been. The bar was set so high for him. Maybe though. so, but I, I don't think there should be any ever any question about him being one of England's most gifted players. Like there should be no question. And there's always this thing with like Foden or Saka, Foden or Saka. That's, 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 a, that's a good argument. Playing okay, Nathan Ake. I think he's been one of the mo since being at City. He's been probably one of the most consistent uh, players under Pep. I think Nathan Ake again another. Person Chelsea could have destroyed, but he saw the <laughs> light, gone to City. I think definitely he doesn't get talked about a lot. Mm. 
for Man, Man City when he's been... Fan, bro. He's, Most he's, disrespected out of the two, I'd say, Nathan, Nathan Ake. People don't put him in a starting 11 as much as they probably should. When you should, yeah. Yeah, it's true, actually. Yeah. Regularly left out. Uh, all right, Man United. Easy. I've gone with Dallow. I put AWB. Oh, the right backs. The head right head backs. <laughs> Battle of the right back. Um, wow. Again, like when it comes to one-on-one -on -one defending, everyone screams he's one of the best. He is the best in the world. He's the person that can stop Neymar. He can stop Messi. That's what a lot of people do say, tend to say about AWB. But where is he? Why is he not? Why is no one? Why is he not on the plane for England? Why is he not in the squad for Congo? To be fair, I don't know, but I just feel like it's major disrespectful, especially international level. Mm. Dallo. Dallo for me is such a good footballer. Really, really good player. He's he, he's he's a brilliant carrier of the ball. He, he gives brilliant support to his wingers. I just think when I watch him, I think why do Man United fans even question him being in the team? Honestly, I really don't know, even know why there's a question. I know defensively sometimes you look at him and think, okay, there's there's parts to improve. But in the modern game, if you're talking about attacking fullbacks, this guy is one of the one I of think, those standouts. I honestly think Dallo could have be Man United's player of the season so far this year. I don't think many people would even mention that name. He's played yeah. right back. He's played left back. Yeah. I think. Dallas goes on. I was, in a, I was so close to picking him. Yeah, it's I thought, you know what? Two. Newcastle. Trip here. Gordon. Who, who's disrespecting trips? Yeah. This season, everyone. That's all. That's all. That's the only time I I've heard Trippier's name is just disrespect. I haven't. Gordon, I feel like has. <laughs> Why though? People are excited about what he can do. He exactly. Can for do. me, he's probably played one of the could be. Could, so he's not disrespected. Could be fine for player of the season. So he's not disrespected. But let me tell you, have you heard any England shouts for Gordon? I haven't. I've heard the occasional one. I haven't. R we Rumbly. heard Cole Palmer. Yeah. Cole, um, Cole Palmer, we heard. We haven't heard Gordon mm. for me. And I that's a major that. I, disrespect. Okay, I get that. After what he's done for, for, for Newcastle this season, especially when they, from last season to now, they've been in a massive decline. And I think there have been periods in Anthony Gordon's career that have been definitely disrespected. Oh, you know, when he, I prior, prior to the move to yeah. Newcastle, there was Getting up there. Wow. Straight up. Straight no up. Debate oh, not, on even, that one. not even the. Oh, not uh, okay. He Forrest. wasn't even expected. He wasn't ready to take the. Take easy it. team. Okay. This is where you lose. I'm sorry. Done. Yeah. Oi, good shout. He's almost on 10 Premier League goals, eight Premier League goals this season, and he's not even a consistent starter. The Hattie against Newcastle was. Yes. Great. Who have you got? Come on. If we're talking about lack of England shouts. It's, I'm doing your job this, for you. Phil. What? But it's like, look, it's a common trend for me. I'm picking a lot of players that are being disrespectful for not getting called off for England. It's always the same. But is that because like, he's part of the 21 setup yeah, and he's yeah. being like still, you still got to pick him up there if you believe that this person can. Do you believe? I do. Do you believe I that should... he should be in with Madisons, Fodens, Bellinghams? You, yeah. In the same position. Yeah. yeah? yeah you yeah. believe? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna have to make a decision here. He does not one. For me, it's got to be. I'm coming down on the side of Chris Wood. You can take that one. Be Chris Wood. Wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just but don't think again. He's been disrespected. You disrespected. This is wrestling. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Sheffield oh, yeah. United. <laughs> Sheffield United. Okay, 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 okay. This is going to be different. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's going to be different. Bernie, Bernie okay, versus Cameron Archer. Why Cameron head Archer? To head. Okay, this is from um, for me. I there was a period of time where no one had strikers on on fantasy league. He got me. 10 points. You're basing it just <laughs> on that. Basis on I know, I know, but, know, but he got me painful. 10 points. But, like, now I'm top of Why Oliver Burner? All right, so this is, this is deeper than the player itself, but I feel like the two most difficult positions on the pitch are a goalkeeper for a top team and a striker for a poor team. And I think when you don't see much of the ball, not many, many touches, you're, you, and you're still expected to be sharp and you've got to take more chances, Convincing your conversion rate's got to be Convincing higher because you won't get as many chances, I just feel like... It's just you just gotta right. you gotta you gotta show respect. Ollie, it, it is, it man. is you man. must. Yeah, Ollie. You must. It is, yeah, yeah. You must. Spurs. Okay, Spurs. Uh, this one for me, I got so. Boo boo. <laughs> I just don't see how it isn't Richarlison. Yeah, man. everyone. You know why? You know why? <laughs> why? With Tottenham, they lost five games this season. Saw hasn't played. He was ab either absent or uh, on the bench. So that doesn't that show how good he actually is? That he's respected. Everybody no, knows he's good. We're not respecting him. <laughs> But I feel like Richardson. We're not talking gets, about him. He, Richardson gets the, mocked. He's the the key string for Spurs. Have you ever like, without him? Gets mocked, they don't play man. the same football. Without Saad, Tottenham don't play. The same. I, I'm pretty sure I saw a TikTok. He was doing the uh, poo poo dance. I've never done the chicken dance. Are you sure? I always knew he's Billy. I said once he gets rid of that, <laughs> <laughs> once he gets rid of the name of tattoo, <laughs> he can't even do a few kick ups without being disrespectful. Once he gets rid of the name of tattoo, he'll be a different guy. Right. Okay. <laughs> West Ham. Richardson's had such good season. It's flying under the yeah, radar. Yeah. I'm, I'm, All right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's over for you now. Let's have a look. It's done. David Moyes. David Moyes. Surprise. Respected at West Ham. It's now for us. 
Mm, I don't know. Can we count a manager? I, I asked production. They said no problem. I <laughs> think you can. <laughs> Declan Rice. That's true. Left. I said surprise. Right, we need to hear why. David Moyes, why is this? Europa League semi-final. If it wasn't for that Creswell mistake, they could have been in the final, could have had Champions League football. He's taken that club to European glory with the Conference League and he's got them, bar one season, consistently challenging for European places in the league. He has to be mentioned. Declan Rice has gone. Yep. He comes in. He's one of the main reasons why Bowen and everyone else is firing, but no one, Paqueta and stuff like that, but no one talks about Alvarez, so that's why I'll, I'll pick Alvarez for me. They want I him think out. he's David Moyes. So I think he's... Oh, they want him out. I can't believe this. They want him out. Him out. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to go up there. Some, some want him out, but I think it's illegal manoeuvres. Someone and him then sacked. Final one, Wolves... Uh, I think you've both chosen the same oh, one. Wow. Get one of them up there. Up at mine, but right, very quickly, up. very quickly. Why Matthias Cunha? He scored a hat trick against my club. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think yeah. For me, it started when they played my United at Old Trafford, and the, the, from early beginning of the season, the way I saw him play, I said, "Why is no one talking?" And he's been consistent about it, but no one's talking about him enough. So. Chan's gone to the Asian Cup, and Neto has been injured. He's all and good. he's yeah. You know what? He's so good. Yep. Amazing. Carrying the ball as well. Yeah, he is. From deep positions. Amazing. I know they paid a lot of money for him, but I think he's a fabulous player. Uh, so there we go. 20 of the most disrespected players in the Premier League on your screen right there. Bit of a rush. We got there <laughs> in the end. Uh,